For the first time, we're hearing from the owner of a Newport News high rise that's facing persistent problems. Seaview Lofts has been vacant now for more than a month after everyone was forced to move out. Code violations still exist. And now the owner is facing some hefty fines if he doesn't get things going. Investigative reporter Julie Millay has more. Today in court, the owner of the Seaview Loft Apartments tried to shift the blame towards the city, saying they, quote, keep moving the goalpost in terms of getting the building up to code, but a judge didn't buy it. You know, we feel terrible for them, and we're trying to do whatever we can, but the city ultimately is the one that are going to allow them back in. It's not in our discretion. While walking out of the Newport News courtroom on Friday, Seaview Lofts owner Ben Weinstein didn't have much to say. Why did I you think say I'm not you feel like anymore. Take it? On the stand earlier that morning, however, Weinstein spoke for the first time. He told the courtroom that he's done everything he can to get the lofts up to code, but that the city keeps finding new safety violations for him to fix. The judge disagreed and fined him $1,000 a day until the problems are resolved. He has fired maintenance and property management employees because they charge too much. Uh, and uh, the idea that he has spent two years trying to renovate this property, I think, is uh, disproven by by those significant codes and compliance failures over those two years. Local attorney Len Bennett, along with the Virginia Poverty Law Center, is representing 55 tenants in a condensed lawsuit against CV Lofts and owner Ben Weinstein. Our goal in the legal action is to get these people back and safely back into a home. It's a property that consistently has poor or limited or no AC. It's a property that has disabled elderly all the way up to the top of the 15th floor. In one of his few comments to reporters, Weinstein said most tenants were not paying rent at the time of the condemnation. He didn't have any comments on the court fines. As for the elevators, another test is scheduled next week. Weinstein's attorney, Josh David. So we're very hopeful we'll be able to make progress early next week. We'll be back in court on, on Thursday and hopefully there'll be progress and we can get these folks back in their homes. In Newport News, I'm Julie Millay, 10 on your side.